Burundi, a country ravaged by a decade of ethnic conflict and extreme violence. A nation that today is turning the page in rebuilding itself. A nation that is seeking reconciliation and looking towards a new future. In 2005, a new constitution set the seal on this reconciliation. It provides new political and ethnic balance within the institutions and the state apparatus. Based on the new fundamental legislation, five successive elections were held between May and September 2010 to renew all levels of state authority. At the invitation of the government of Burundi, the European Union deployed one of the longest observation missions to monitor all the different elections. From across the EU, but also from Norway, Switzerland and Canada, nearly 100 observers and election experts were dispatched to all of the 17 provinces. Their mandate to analyze the electoral process and ensure its conformity with international standards and the laws of Burundi. More broadly, each European Union observation mission assesses the state of a country's democratic maturity. This is absolutely vital. Without democracy, there can be no development. With complete independence, the mission observes governments, civil society, the media, NGOs. Respect for human rights, freedom of expression, gender equality, freedom to vote, the observers pose incisive questions. But their reports are based on facts. Here, peace is still fragile. Tensions are running high. As evidence, numerous incidents during the election campaign, including accusations of fraud, intimidation of journalists, and the boycott of several elections by the opposition. Not surprisingly, the outgoing President's party dominated the elections. Although they were, by and large, well conducted in a challenging environment, the mission deplored certain violations of democratic principles. La campagne électorale s'est déroulée dans un environnement toujours marqué par le blocage politique. La mission regrette et condamne le nombre accru d'arrestations et d'assassinats ciblés. Nous tenons à rappeler qu'un climat d'insécurité et de violence est une entrave sérieuse à l'organisation des élections démocratiques. The mission has ended, but the EU will continue to support Burundi in its efforts to improve its electoral process and strengthen its democracy.